We're here at Montebello Park for the 19th annual Rotary Rib Fest, where you're guaranteed to have delicious ribs, great live music, and fun for the whole family all Civic Holiday weekend long. So this year, the, the weather's great. We haven't had uh, great weather for a few years now, so we're hoping for a very warm weekend, no rain, and a uh, great weekend out to come out and drink some beer and have some great ribs. Is there anything new or different this year from last? No, nothing new. We have a couple new ribbers. Uh, we have Hogs Gone Wild and the Hogfather. They're new to our lineup, so we're excited to have them. We'll see if they can take the championship trophy. Other than that, it's our same winning formula every year at Montebello Park. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about this year's entertainment lineup. So we have great local music every night. So starting tonight, our headliner is Wednesday's Engine. Tomorrow night, we have Vinyl Flux. On Sunday, we have The Associates. And rounding out our weekend is Jonesy. They're always a fan favorite. There are six ribbers on hand this year, all competing for the coveted People's Choice Award. Uh, I mean, for us, it's all about just making the best ribs we can every single weekend and keep the people coming back. And what makes your guys' ribs different from everyone else's? Uh, we have uh, a very special sauce that we like to use. I'm sure uh, a lot of people are pretty familiar with it. Uh, we have our own dry rub that we uh, throw on the ribs every time before they go in the smoker uh, for a couple hours, let them sit, take them out, uh, just when they're about to fall off the bone. And I know you guys serve ribs, but is there anything else on your menu that people really come here for? Our pulled pork. Pulled pork on a bun is very good. And we also have beef ribs, and a little bit bigger, really good too. And our chicken, I love our chicken. Despite the hot temperatures and long hours, the ribbers are still enjoying serving ribs to the St. Catharines community. It's hot, amazing people, like you can't beat it, right? As long as the line keeps coming and we keep serving, we're all happy. So what's the funnest part for you, like in a weekend like this? All of it, I just, I love it. It's just here with my friends, here with people I know, and especially in St. Catharines, we're in from, from Fort Erie, so we know everybody here, so it's just nice to be here. <laughs> I'd have to say the most fun would be uh, meeting all the people. Uh, you go to so many different uh, cities across the country, different provinces, and every, uh, every city's got their own uh, little personality to it I guess so that's it's really awesome meeting new people every show and then you meet people uh, the year after and they remember you so it's uh, it's pretty special. Ribfest has become one of the Rotary Club of St. Catharines signature fundraising events raising on average eighty five thousand dollars per year. Every year most of our money goes back into local community events we support things like Pasto Mental Health, uh, the Hospital Foundation, Community Cares and some other local partners, so all that money goes back into the local community. And why do you think this, this event has been such a success year after year? Well, I think every year it's the August long weekend people enjoy to come out, spend time with friends and family, have some food and drinks, and of course when it's for a charity cause and the money's going back into the community, everybody has a great feeling about it. Admission is free with live music playing until 11 p.m. For more information, please visit stcatharinesribfest.com. Reporting for your TV, I'm Greg Lavelle.